Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Aries for the second half of September 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yes, this is for Aries for the second half of September 2020. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. These are the cards that I'm using. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these cards have been pre-shuffled. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle one more time just so we can get the general energy of today's reading for Aries, but this is for the second half of September 2020, okay? <clears throat> general energy for Aries for the second half of September 2020 is, ooh, <gasps> the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I do see that there's some devil energy here and there's some addictions, codependency. Addictions could be anything, any kind of evil deeds, right? Mm. You know what? Let's find out what's going on. All right, let me get three cards for Aries for the second half of September 2020. Let me get three cards for Aries, please. Three cards for Aries. Oh, something flipped. Let me get one more card for Aries, please. Oh, okay. bottom of the deck we have the sun so you could be dealing with a leo the sun uh, represents leo right a card that's a card of leo now let's see what else we got here oh my gosh we also have the strength card so we have strong leo here okay um we also have the page of swords uh and then we also have the high priestess in the reverse okay I didn't show these, uh, you know, the cards are nice, you know, nice looking cards. Anyways, <clears throat> so basically what's going on here is somebody is needing the strength to do something or you are dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, yeah, somebody trying to be very confident and strong in a situation, um, I do, you know, I'm kind of feeling something about this strength card, you know. It's about courage, right? It's about persistence, spiritual power. This also, this card is able to, you know, offset any type of bad luck, right? That's the strength card I'm feeling here any kind of bad luck you might be having, I do feel that this is a card that's going to say that you are going to be able to withstand or overcome whatever issues you have, all right? This, and it could be this devil energy. You do have the strength to surpass that, okay? I also see the page of swords here, and this is about somebody watching. Now, either you can be watching somebody or somebody can be watching you right? Um, somebody may be watching this high priestess. Now, the high priestess is here. This is about sacred knowledge and intuition. But when it's in the reverse, it indicates some sort of superficial qualities, right? Um, this could also be somebody getting divorced. Yeah, this is a divorce card. And uh, when it's in the reverse, it's somebody being divorced from love and only, you know, dealing with physical passion. So that's lusty, lusty energy, right? So you may be watching somebody who has lusty energy, trying to have the strength somehow. But in the end, I do see the sun card. And this is the happiest card of the deck. So what's going to happen here is you're going to be able to overcome whatever this is. There could be an issue with sex addictions. When we have the devil here and the high priestess here, hey, you never know. But it could be something like that. 
you know. Um, the Sun card is telling me that you are going to have success, vitality, warmth, happiness, and fun in your life, you know. Um, you just have to get through whatever this is. So let's go ahead and find out a little bit more about what this is. Why is this strength card here for Aries, please? Why is this strength card here for Aries? Okay, we have a couple cards here, so let's see what they all are. We have, okay, we have a lot of sneaky cards here. Look, we got the Six of Cups. This is also the Lover's card. Somebody from your past or somebody from the past, right? We also have the Four of Cups, Lost or Missed Opportunity, or you could be offering something to someone or somebody could be offering something to you, okay? It just depends on how it, you know, how it pans out. We also have the Three of Wands. So you are waiting maybe for the perfect time to do that, to make this offer, trying to have the strength to do it. You may have actually one more fight left in you to do this, right? But the issue here is there's some truth that needs to be revealed, okay? There's going to be a message of truth that comes in. It could be harsh, it could be mean, or it could just be shocking, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to put this one back. And let's find out. Why is the Page of Swords here now? Why is the Page of Swords here for Aries for the second half of September 2020 for Aries? Why do we have this Page of Swords here for Aries for the second half of September 2020 for Aries? This is for Aries. We only have two out so far. Let's see if we can get some more. Anything else for Aries for the second half of September 2020? This is for the Page of Swords. Why is this Page of Swords here? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Nine of Swords. It's in the reverse. The Nine of Swords is about can't make sense of things, can't sleep at night, things are havoc, you know, whatever, chaos, whatever. But not here. The Nine of oh, Swords in the reverse is you basically figuring something out. And you're going to figure it out while watching somebody. All right? You're going to be watching something, and whatever you're watching is going to help you figure out whatever this energy is over here, right? And it has to do with somebody from the past, somebody, a lover, you know, something that someone that has made an offer to somebody, right? And then we have, what is this, the Two of Cups, Yeah. So you're trying to make sense of a love situation. You're watching. You're spying. Somebody is spying. You know, I, I feel like this might be you, Aries, because um, you're trying to make sense of something, but you're, you're out of it because you, you're watching something. Something has come to, your, come to light, right? And so you're no longer um, in your head about this. So now you're wanting to bring forth some sort of emotions in a situation, right? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, something that you just can't let go. You are definitely holding on to something. So you're watching somebody that you're holding on to, somebody from the past, and uh, you want to make an offer possibly. Because look, at, I, I just happened to see, this is at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Wands, and this is somebody wanting to start something new passionately. So let's find out why is this High Priestess in the reverse right here? Why is this High Priestess in the reverse right here? High Priestess in the reverse. High Priestess in the reverse. Why is that here? High Priestess in the reverse for Aries for the second half of September. Let's see what all this is. Ooh, a bunch of cards. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups, we got the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Five of Wands, and we'll put these back. But we also have the Five of Swords. This is about lying and deception, arguing with others, not doing the right thing. And then we have the Two of Wands, and this is about having some sort of communication, some heated debate or something like that, uh, seeing where to go, and you'll find out where to go once you have this conversation with whoever, right? All right. <clears throat> bottom of the deck we do have the knight of swords again okay so there's some truth coming in there's some truth about something and someone that you're going to find out about okay it's going to bring light to the situation doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be bad though okay now we also have the four of swords it's in the reverse okay four of swords is basically being sick and tired of something right but you're not you know this isn't too bad this isn't too bad, okay, it's in the reverse, right? Now, when it's in the reverse, this is about, you know, you being very careful, 
right? Being careful maybe with your money, uh, with situations, um, whatever, right? Administering things, giving things out. You're being very, very careful here, okay? Um, I also have the Ten of Cups in the upright, which is good. Uh, and that's love, you know, you're going to be having some love. But the thing is, is you're not using your intuition too much right now here. You're being kind of lusty and weird, you know, kind of, I don't know. Now, if this isn't you, this is somebody in your environment, okay? Um, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles, so you might be looking at a single lady right now. Maybe lusting over her or him or why, right? Because this is a Nine of Pentacles, a single lady card. But it's also, it, it doesn't have to be lady. It could be lady or man, right? Because I do male, male, female, female, and female, male here. But this could also be the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So you could be dealing with somebody who you really, really like, all right? And you're trying to figure something out about it, trying to be very careful, right? But you're not using your intuition, you know? And, and on top of that, you're being all lusty and weird. So you're getting better looking. Oh, this is why. Here it is. We got the five of wands right here. Now this is about being in your head, you know, and tripping out on stuff. Or it's the devil card again. It doubles as a devil card. Look, you start with the devil, you end with the devil. So, uh, you know, I don't know about this energy. You know, you might have some sort of sex addiction or somebody here does. Maybe this single person does. I don't know. But um, it seems that somebody is spying on somebody from the past, right, wanting to make an offer to a person, wanting to fight for this one last time, just waiting for the perfect time to do it, and the strength and confidence enough to do it, right? Yeah. And somebody might be watching you or you watching them, but but you're going to find something out from this spying. Something's going to be brought to light, and you're going to be able to express your emotions because of that, right? Something that you can't let go. This is something or someone or situation that you just can't let go of, but things are going to be brought to light after spying, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, High Priestess in the Reverse, this is about lustful, weird, you know, I don't know, energy, <laughs> right? The, the High Priestess in the Reverse is, um, you know, superficial, right? This is not real, this is fake, you know? Um, but you know, it could also be, you know, you separating yourself from somebody, okay? And this is where this Nine of Pentacles could actually be you, right? If you are separating from somebody, this could be you. Right, and separating from them because there was some sort of devil energy that you just didn't agree with. You could have been in a marriage with somebody also. Uh, that's something else that I'm getting here. Um, not wanting a situation to end, but because there's so much devil energy here in the beginning and the end, you know, you never can have any good, anything good coming out of that. You, you can't, you know, unless you're just dealing with a, a Capricorn, then that's a separate thing. But, you know, with that devil energy, mm, not very good, not very good. But you're going to find out some truth about something, okay? And it's going to it's gonna help you along uh, the second half of September, right? And it's going to happen through the spying. Mm -hmm. um, something's going to be brought to light, you know? Something good, though. It's not going to be a scary, shocking, you know, revelation. No, nothing like that. It's just you're going to find out some news, and it's going to make you happy because we have the sun card here, right? It's going to make you happy. And, and what, what's going to make you extra happy is you're going to find out that it's the truth. And you're going to be like, wow, it's going to be like a relief, I feel like. I feel like you're going to feel relieved instead of like, oh, my God, what's coming? You know, no. Um, yeah. And it could be in regards to separation from somebody. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to the oracles next. That's all I have for you, um, Aries. Don't worry. Everything seems okay. Just go with the flow. You know, you're going to find out some good news. You know, I feel like it's good news. And, um, you know, you're going to have happiness back in your life. So um, let's go ahead and move on to the oracle. Okay, so here's the oracles I have. We have the surrender, and then we have the healing energy uh, oracle. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get a card from here. Okay, I almost forgot which order I was going in. So we're trying to get, uh, this is a, the surrender deck. It's going to let us know what you need to surrender for the second half of September 2020. You don't have to. It's a suggestion. You do whatever you want. But, you know, it's just, uh, just a little side advice from the universe, you know. All right. There. 
Now we're going to see what comes out for you when it comes to the Healing Energy Oracle. Let's see what we have for Aries for the second half of September 2020. For Aries, second half of September 2020. For Aries, for the second half of September 2020 for Aries. Aries for the second half of September 2020 for Aries. Aries for the second half of September 2020 for Aries. There we go. Whoa. All right. Wow, you got just as much as uh, Pisces had a lot like this, too. You might be dealing with a Pisces. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, let me just put those over there. So let's find out what you have, okay? Yeah, Pisces had six, too. Let's see. Whatever energy you put out, you will come back to you. There you go. Whatever energy you put out will come back to you. So make sure that you're doing everything in the kindness, lovingness, happiness of your heart. Because uh, if you're sending out any bad negative vibes, swear it's going to come back to you. And you're not going to like it. <laughs> Surround yourself with people who are better than you. Okay. Now, you know who's better. People who are a little bit more successful than you are, right? Because what the, what's going to happen there, it's, it's not like they're better than you. It's more like they are, um, they're doing better in their life. So there would be, it's better to hang out with those kind of people because you get tips from them. They help you along. They, they, they teach you. You know what I'm saying? When you're around certain types of people, you learn from them. If you're around a bunch of hooligans, you're going to learn to be a hooligan, right? If you're around a bunch of intellectuals, you're going to tend to, you know, pick up some of that intellect, right? So if you want to be a better person, hang around better people, people who are better than what you've been hanging out with, who could be a lot of negative energy, you know, devil energy, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. The best thing you can do is know yourself. Now, how well do you know yourself, Aries? Do you, uh, you know, what, what is holding you back from, from moving forward? Why do you feel that you need to spy on people? Or why, you know, what's going on with the devil energy? That's number one, right? And if you don't understand why you're stuck in that devil energy, because here, you know what, something just came to mind. <clears throat> People, um, people turn to addictions to mask pain from the past. So if you're dealing with addictions because of that devil card, remember, we've seen it twice in the beginning and the end. So if you are in some sort of devil energy, maybe some addictions, maybe you need to step back and figure out why do you need to mask these thoughts, these memories? Because, you know... We've all had some shit pasts, all right? Something in everyone's past has been shitty. But we make it through it, right? Some of us will think about it, you know? I mean, I've had some shit happen to me, and you know, and I even forgive those motherfuckers, you know? Because you have to. You can't live in resentment, okay? And the best thing to think about is the reason why somebody did something awful to you is because that was done to them and they just passed it on to you because it was that was all they knew. They didn't know any better. Right. So if there's something that's bothering you and you turn to drugs or alcohol to, you know, ease the pain, maybe you need to step back and figure out why do you want to do this? You know, can't you, you got to learn to let that go. You got to learn to let it go. Because that kind of hanging on to that kind of trauma and anxiety, you know, anxiety is the number one killer, right? And it leads to heart problems and all kinds of stuff. Now, if you want to stay healthy and good, you got to learn to figure out what are these issues you have that are taking you to this devil energy. Because devil energy, also addictions, that'll kill you too, right? Yeah. So if you can figure that out, then, you know... You'll know yourself more. You'll be able to clear up these resentments or these traumas that you have and let them go. Uh, you know, I promise you, you know, that that, I, I don't like to make promises, right? But I promise you, if you can try to figure out what is traumatizing you and why you um, have these addictions, I promise you something inside you will heal and it will help you to move forward in a positive direction. 
But you just got to do the research, though. You got to look within, right? The best thing you can do is to know yourself, right? Yeah. Look, self-love is crucial for understanding others. So maybe you're having difficulty understanding why some people are a certain way, right? Well, it's most likely because they love themselves and they act this way for themselves. They appreciate themselves. They do good for themselves. Why? Because they love themselves and they look for things that are self-serving, you know, in a good, positive manner, right? Uh, things that make them happy, which could be anything. It could be the walk in the park, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that person's so foolish. They like to walk in the park every day. If that sounds like something that you would say, then, you know, well, so what if they like to walk in the park? That makes them happy, you know? If they like to do it, let them do it. You know, maybe you should take a walk in the park one day. I don't know. But we have self-love here, and this is very important. And whatever situation you're in, you have to know that you are loved and you can be loved. And you should love yourself. You know, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that really, really, really love you. And if they can love you, you can also love yourself. Listen to others with great compassion. Okay, so maybe you don't give others a chance to talk. Maybe you're always talking yourself. Maybe it's time for you to do some listening, right? Surround yourself with people who are better than you, right? And by doing that, you listen to others with compassion. So you, you will be listening to these people. And they will be putting ideas in your head. Good ideas, though. As long as you get to the better people, right? I'm not talking about, um, like, better at sports, better at, at reading, better at, um, you know, drawing. I'm not talking about like that. Because we're all equal here. I'm just talking about people who have excelled a little bit further than you. You know, you hang out with those people who are kind of above you. And you will get there, too. And eventually you will surpass that level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Allow yourself to be open to being loved. So maybe you don't have a lot of love because why? Because you need more self-love. Self-love is crucial for understanding others. You can't understand others well because you have you have that you don't have 100% self-love, right? And also, uh, if you will allow yourself to be loved, then you can allow yourself to be open to being loved right because you will understand and believe from then on that hey you do deserve love after you love yourself and learn all that good stuff that you don't care what anybody thinks about you because you love yourself just the same that's when you will be able to allow yourself to be open to being loved and that's just a beautiful thing right i think it is i don't know look oh my gosh you guys i can't even make this shit up look Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, right? So you may feel a certain way about yourself, <clears throat> all right? I think you are, you know, and, and this is why I think we had a lot of, um, we had a lot of cards out for Pisces. You might be dealing with a Pisces here, all right? But let's see what this says. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself. That originate from the past. Remember, past traumas, right? This is why you're in devil energies, because you're hanging on to some sort of past traumas that you're not trying to deal with. Okay, that's why you have become addicted to something. <clears throat> then you can own your power and soar in your life. I can't even make this shit up. You guys saw me shuffle. You guys saw me explain in these cards. And I'm telling you, you need to figure out what is going on, what has been causing you these tr these uh, feelings to have you go towards uh, addictions and things, right? Why, why do you need to be drunk or high in order to, you know, um, forget the past, right? Now, you don't have to be doing that. You could be even overworking yourself. Yeah, that too. Maybe trying to forget about the traumas of the past so you work your fingers to the bone you work day and night and you just wear yourself out and it's just ugh, you know overworking is an addiction also so that could be something too okay and that those are this is for those who aren't using substances right yeah you might be overworking yourself over stressing yourself and that doesn't help anyone it, it brings your anxiety up and that, remember what I said about heart problems and, you know, I'm telling you, you know, it's time to try to figure out what traumas have been ailing you. And, and you know what? 
I think too right now this new moon that we're in um, that's gonna be around it's the, the retrograde I think Aries I'm sorry I think it's going to affect you a lot this uh, this um, retrograde so this is going to be a time where you are going to actually be overcoming some traumas of the past. And you know what? It's going to be traumatic just to get over the trauma, but you know what? It's going to help you out. It definitely is. Remember, you, you had the sun card there because why? You found out some truth. You went spying. Remember? So this shit is going to happen for you at the end of September and, and probably going up until the end of the retrograde. So just hang on to your seats, make sure you're buckled in because you have a lot coming up for you, a lot of trauma and self-discovery coming up for you, okay, during this retrograde, okay? You're the only sign that I've mentioned this to because I, I just recalled something about this retrograde in Aries and how Aries is going to be going through some stuff, okay? So just hang in there. Um, just know that you can make it. I believe in you. I love you. I'm sending out energy, good energy to you, okay? So let me put that down for now. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have for you, Aries. Um, if it resonated with you in any way, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, once again, I'm totally sending out really good, loving energy to you. I love you, Aries. Okay, there's a lot of people out there that love you. And we all know that you will be able to make it through whatever this energy is. Uh, especially during this retrograde, you are going to be greatly affected by it. So I'm sending you out light and love energy to you, that sun energy, okay? Um, also, true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. That's the key, staying calm, staying cheerful, and, and, and opening your ears to, to whatever it is that can help you, you know, the better people, right? The people who are not negative, the people who are not toxic. Hang around people other than that, and they will bring light to also to your situation, and, and then you'll be able to brave through this, okay? Um, okay, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will speak to you next time. Bye.